Hello, in this demo, I am going to show you how to create a web service and then how to use that web service in our web application. So, to create a web service, I will select ASP.NET Web Services and I will name it as My Age into Days Web Service. That means I am going to create a web service which takes my date of birth that is year, month and day and it will return my age in days like how many days old I am. So I am going to create that kind of web service. So I will just say ok. Now whenever I start a web service, this is my solution explorer. I'll have a service.cs file by default and service.asmx file. Now this is the file that I'm going to use and any code that I'm going to implement, I'll be implementing in my service.cs file. So this is my service.cs file. Now this file contains few namespaces that is system.web.services. Now this is the namespace which supports web service methods. So I have service class which inherits from web service class. So every service is derived from a web service class. Anything that I want to share, I will be sharing with the help of web method. That means any service I will be creating in the form of a method. As I discussed in my video, web service is nothing but a way of calling methods of one application from the other. That means I am going to create a method here. This method would be accessed or it would be called by some applications which are going to use this. So by default I have got hello world method. So I will leave this as it is. Now I am going to define a new web method. I will say web method. This is an attribute whenever I write this web method attribute it means that this method is exposed to the world. I will say public. It is going to return days. So I will say int and I will say get my age in days. And here I need to pass three parameters. The first parameter is day that is int day. The next parameter is month, I will say int, the one more parameter is year, I will say int year. Now in this method I am going to write the logic of converting my age into days. So first of all I will be creating a date time object equals to new date time and here I am going to pass this three parameters that means I am trying to take these three integers and I am trying to convert this into date time object. So I got date, date time object dt. Now what is that I will do? I will say int days equals to how do I calculate? Now date time dot now dot subtract that means from current date I want to subtract my date of birth subtract dt dot I want the number of days of this time span days that's it now I got the days in my days variable I'll just say return days that's it my web method is ready that means this is a method which takes three parameters day, month, year and all the three parameters are of type integer and it is going to calculate or it is going to convert my age into days and it is going to return the number of days. That means I am so many days old. Now I will just save this. I will build this. and I will just set it as a start page and I will execute this. So here is my service file. 
So, it is showing me two methods one is hello world I will just click on this hello world. Now, my hello world is available with me and if you can see that I have soap messages I will just invoke this. So, it is returning me hello world string. So, it is an XML format. I will close this, I will go back, I will click on get my age in days. So, it shows me three text boxes. So, in the first text box, I will pass my day of birth, day of birth is 6, month 11, year 1984. Now, if you observe, my SOAP message format is something like this. See that, SOAP body, complete SOAP message. As we have discussed in our earlier video, message transfer takes place in the form of SOAP which is an XML file. So, day, month, year, three parameters got converted to three XML elements and the result is again an XML element. So, this is an XML file or I can say SOAP format message. Now, I will simply invoke this. So, it is going to call my method and execute it, get the value and it should show me something 9000 change. Yeah, I got 9000 phi not phi. So, I am 9000 phi not phi days old. So, this is my web service which is ready. Now, I should use this web service. So, I will go back to my services. If I want to use a web service, then I should have WSDL as we have discussed in the video we are going to access our web services with the help of WSDL. So, service description language, I will click on this service description, you can see this, this is my WSDL. So, my web service is available to the world in the form of WSDL. Now, I will simply copy this, I will minimize this, even minimize this, now I will go and I will start a new website. This time, I am going to create a website and I will name it as use web service. I will say ok. Now, my web service is ready. You can see this. This is what my web service is ready and I have hosted it. You can say that, you know, if it is ready, that means I have hosted it. I am not going to close this. I am not going to close my earlier Visual Studio web service project. Why? Because if I want to use this, I need to host it on the server. So, as of now, I do not have uh, IIS server. So, I am keeping it on my the local server. So, or the IIS server which is provided by your visual web developer. So, I am not going to close my earlier project. I am going to keep it open. Now, I am into my web application. If I want to use the service in my application, the very first step that I need to do is add the WSDL file to my project. So, how do I add? Select the project, right click and say add web reference. I will paste that WSDL URL here and I will say go. It shows me two methods, get my age in days and hello world. Anyway, we are going to use get my age in days. It has got, this is a method which takes three parameters and returns a single parameter int. So, I can name this as my age web service. I will say add reference. So, it is going to add this reference to my project. That means, it is going to have a reference to the WSDL in my project. You can just check this in the web.config file. You can see this my age web service dot service and it is referring to so and so URL fine. Now, my web service is ready to use. Now, I need to create UI in my web application. So, I will just take three text boxes and a button and a label. On this button click, I will be calling my web service. I will double click the button. Now, what is that I need to do? I need to create the object of service class. So, anyway, my service class is not present in this project. It is present in my earlier project, but I have added the reference. So, it is going to show me or it is going to give me a proxy class. Even though class is not present here, it looks like the class is here. So, how do I get that? To get that class, I should go for using 
my age web service now before creating the object of service class i'll take the values of three text boxes in three different variables now i got dmy now i'll create the object of my service class service s equals to new service now this class is called as proxy class even though this service class is not present here in my current project it is present in my earlier project you can see that service class is present here but i am using it here why because i have added the reference so it is giving me a proxy class we call it as proxy class now i'll say s dot get my age in days so here i need to pass three parameters d for days m for month and y for year and it is going to return me an integer variable so i'll take that result in int res result now i'll display that result on the label label 1 dot text equals to res dot to string save this and i'll execute this so in first text box i'll be passing day so 6 and the second text box month so that will be 11 in third text box year that will be 1984 now if i click the button i should get the result in my label and see that i haven't written any kind of logic in this i have written my logic in my web service so on the button click it is going to invoke the service and pass this three parameters to that get the value calculated returns the value and it is going to display on the label so i'll click on the button that's it this is very simple to create a web service this is what we need to do now we are going to see how to use a web service which takes the country name and returns all the cities of that country so here we are not going to create the web service we are going to use an existing web service so for this you need internet connection and the service that we are going to use is web service x dot net slash global weather dot asmx as i told you we need wsdl so this is the wsdl for that particular web service so i got wsdl for web service so i'll just copy this and i'll start my web application in my web application i have a text box in which i am going to write the country name and i have a button get cities whenever i click the button it should return me all the states or cities of that particular country so what is that i need to do i'll go to solution explorer i'll right click on this and i'll say add web reference so here i'm going to paste the wsdl url i'll just say go so here we have two methods one method is get cities by country which takes country name as a string and return all the cities as a string and we have one more method anyway we are not going to use this but what is the use of this method is that it takes city name and country name and it returns the report of all major cities around the world so whatever the city name and country name we pass it will get us the weather of that particular city so my web reference name i'll just rename this as my cities web service i'll say add reference now reference got added i'll just double click on get cities now i'll say using my cities web service and in this we have a class called as global weather this is our proxy class like in our earlier video we created a class called as service now in the same sense this is the class global weather now i'll say g equals to new global weather now i'll say g dot get cities by country now in this i'll be passing the parameter country name from my text box so i'll say txt country dot 
text dot to string it is going to return me a string string of cities so i'll simply say string cities equals to now i'll write response dot write cities so what is it i am doing i am simply displaying all the cities on my output screen save this execute this so i got my page in which i have a text box and get cities button so here i am going to write the country name say india i'll click on get cities what is that it is going to do it will take this parameter india and it will pass this parameter to the method get cities by country of my web service that i am using in my web application so i'll say get cities see that it is displaying me all the cities of country india india hyderabad airport this is the place where i am recording this video so i'll write uk it is going to get me the cities of uk if i write saudi it is going to get me the cities of saudi saudi arabia so this is very simple i can use already existing web services in my web application in this way so thank you very much